Hey there, world travelers. Hey there. I'm Tanya. And I'm Dave. And we are Turn It Up World. Welcome back to Las, Las Vegas! Vegas! Today we're headed to Hash House of Go-Go here in Las Vegas on the Las Vegas Strip. What many have called the best brunch in Las Vegas. And they also have some of the best fried chicken on the Las Vegas Strip. I am so excited for that. And they're the winners of 20 plus Las Vegas food, dessert, and drink awards. Ooh. 20 plus. That's a lot. That's a lot yes, of awards. Absolutely. I know the portion sizes are supposed to be ginormous. That's fine because I'm starving. I'm starving too. Are you ready to go? I am ready. Let's rock this. That's a go-go here. I'm just really excited. This is in the link. Yeah. And boy, oh boy, it's a popular spot here, especially for breakfast. It basically, they call it a farm, it's like a farmhouse twist, I guess exactly, you say. Exactly, yeah. Twisted, <laughs> twisted, twisted farmhouse food. Yes. <laughs> yes. Here we go, it's gonna be interesting. But yeah, it's a huge spot here. And they have a lot of great kind of that, like, sort of like fried chicken and waffles. Chicken and waffles. And hash and different kind of stuff, really cool things. So Hash House to Go right now currently, with the changes going on, they're at about a 50% capacity in terms of seating. Um, their scheduled hours here are from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Now, it used to be 24 hours, and that's Monday through Thursday, right? That's right, yeah, yeah. usually 24 hours. So. Yeah. I don't so. know if it's 24, is it only, it's seven days a week or is it only Monday through? It may have been seven days a week. It may have been, hours. but we know yeah. currently right now, um, from Monday to Thursday, it's from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Yes. And then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, it's 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. There's a break in between, and then they have dinner from 5 to close. So. That's right. So once again, this is kind of a consistent theme that we see throughout here in Vegas is the QR code scan. So you're given this right downstairs as you saw, you scan that code there and it pulls up the menu, which is really cool looking. Oh yeah, it works really well. Right. One of their signature items is really the, the fried chicken and waffles. Yes. All different kinds that you can get there. Yes, the well varieties. also the fried chicken uh, Benedict as well. Oh is yeah, that's Anything fried like chicken Benedict. Exactly. <laughs> fried chicken's there especially. <laughs> exactly, and also of course hashes, I mean. Just of the course, name, right? Hash House of Go Go. Right, exactly. So all different <laughs> kind of hashes as well you can pick from. I definitely think it's worth the value when you know that the portion sizes could probably take care of lunch as well. A great spot to come for breakfast, brunch. Yes. Right, but come with a with a big appetite for sure. Exactly. Cheers. Cheers. Here we go. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Holy mole. Wow. I mean, this is. Crazy oh, awesome. Oh. This is this is a special. Um, and she was not kidding when she said the very generous portion sizes. This is chicken Benedict. Now chicken here is something, the fried chicken is one of their most signature, signature dishes. And it's a no wonder that this place has won 20 plus food desserts awards. Oh my goodness gracious. I mean it's it's just amazing. Now the knife scares me a little. Look at that knife. That's just, like right it's just right that's, on that's top how of I that cut chicken. my beef. That's how you cut my beef. <laughs> <laughs> But it really is nice. It's a big old piece of chicken there. It just has like um, the, all the good hollandaise drizzle on there, the biscuits, and the mashed potato on the bottom. It's just, a, it looks crazy busy. Was, and I love the little rosemary kind of sticking out. That was like breakfast, there. lunch, and dinner. It is right. breakfast, lunch, and dinner for two days. Exactly. <laughs> What'd well, you well, get? Sure, well I got uh, hash. Yes. One of the hash dishes. It comes out really in a cool cast iron skillet. I love when they I do that. I love that. That's really right. cool. Now, now it's not hot. It wasn't, I mean, it's a little warm, but it wasn't like super hot in terms mm -hmm. of the skillet itself. But uh, this is a chorizo uh, oh, hash. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, really nice with jalapeno, some cheddar. A fresh tomato. Mm. It has some nice little uh, got over easy eggs on the side. Nice. It comes with that with two eggs. I got them over easy. And they're you, big eggs. Oh, Everything they're is oh, big. Exactly. Giant. Giant size. It's that <laughs> twisted farm stuff. Exactly. Right? And then I also got I got some wheat toast. You can get flour tortilla with it. I opted for the wheat toast. I mean, 
This is a huge dish yeah, too. Yeah, and a, look at that. That is awesome. That homemade jam. Yeah, that looks That's amazing. That's homemade jam for the toast right. with all that butter. Exactly. And that's a nice fresh fruit for you if you want to stay healthy. Exactly. That, which I do. I'll have the which fresh fruit. Which will balance it out. I'll balance it out. <laughs> it, it's got? almost like, um, uh, what, what is the one that can take the, the stone? Oh, uh, Excalibur. 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 I've claimed Excalibur. Oh, right. Now you're ready to attack. Now I'm ready to attack. Now, I did get a correction, so it's not a hollandaise sauce. It's actually a chipotle cream sauce. Ooh, that sounds good. And I like chipotle. Wow, it really cuts through nice and tender. I mean, look at that. All right, here we go. That is really, truly divine. I mean, that chicken breast is really tender. A little crunch from the top. The chipotle cream sauce is dynamite. It's wow. a little spicy, which is really nice. We nice. have like a sweet and spicy in that. Loving the tomato, the little bit of egg in there. The bacon, um, you really taste every step of the way. Every bit has a little bit of taste in that, which is wonderful. Now I can definitely, see, I'm only gonna probably be able to finish a quarter of this, but the rest <laughs> is gonna be for lunch. But it is truly dynamite, really tender, really soft. The biscuit was just broke up and melted in my mouth. Absolutely, a thumbs up. Whew. Okay. Are you stuffed yet? I, I, think, I think Tanya's taking a nap over there. I'm gonna take a break for a yeah. second. Let me tell me what you got over there. Okay, here we go. I got the chorizo hash and with jalapeno and these nice uh, eggs here. I wanna actually, I wanna, what I wanna do is actually take this egg and kind of crack open the yolk. And mix it in here. That's a good idea. I like to kind of get it all in this good stuff. And they have these like crispy potatoes as well. So pretty cool. <laughs> you know what's going to be interesting? Got to get a jalapeno. Yeah, and those jalapenos have seeds in them. Which is good. Which I'm is going to be nice and hot. It's supposed to be a little spicy, which I'm looking for. So that's really good. <laughs> this is a great hash. The chorizo tastes, tastes amazing. Really mm -hmm. nice. And the jalapenos really burst. And you're right, those seeds are in there. There's a lot of spice coming from the jalapenos, which I love. Really, really good stuff. You taste the ch cheddar cheese in here as well. You taste that cheddar absolutely in the chorizo. Also, some fresh tomato. And of course, having that egg yolk just kind of pour right in there. Really, really nice. I'm excited to eat this. I could probably finish maybe half of this. Yeah. You know? It's, a, you know, it's funny, when you saw the photo, I thought, oh, it's gonna be a little bit smaller, but no, this is a big cast iron skillet. It's a real big skillet. Yeah, I mean, a, you usually get those tiny yeah, exactly. little comfy pots. Everything's super size, but I'm ready to dive into this. This is really good. You ready to dive in, I super size? Here we go. <laughs> so that was really a fun experience. I am so full, as per usual, with everything we do and eat. I always get super oh, stuffed. I'm so stuffed. Yeah, too. so let me ask you. Sure. So what did you think of this place? Well, what do you think? So good. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. Wow, so this place definitely left a good impression on us. It's a wonderful spot if you want to come here for some good value eats on the Las Vegas Strip. Ash Hassel Gogo is the spot. Now, I don't think we mentioned this before, but mine, which was the, uh, the Chicken Benedict, it was $21.99. Portion sizes are humongous, and we could have easily shared that. Exactly, and my chorizo hash was $16.99. Just a great value, really, really good food. And in here, the service is great too. Absolutely, they're definitely heating to the social distancing. Yes. You definitely see the tables and things spread apart. If you made it this far, thank you so much. We really appreciate that. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And that notification bell so that you get up every time you post something new and exciting. Thanks for joining us, World Travelers, and we look forward to seeing you in, in Las Vegas. Vegas.